anyone who has common sense will remember that the bewilderments of the eyes are of two kinds and arise from two causes, either from coming out of the light or going in to the light. Oh, welcome, dear friends. Come, welcome and sit down here in the cave of inspiration. This is an opportunity for us to ponder questions that civilization has considered for thousands of years. Why are we here? How did we get here? Over that time, different stories have arisen to account for our existence on this planet. The primary story that in six days, a supernatural being created from nothing, everything, space, stars, planets, earth, the story of creation. And about 150 years ago, a new story entered the realm of human civilization, the story of evolution provided by science, the story based on a Darwinian theory that evolution was driven by random accidents called mutations in the genetics of organisms when they reproduce, and that these mutations led to all the different species on this planet. Well, there's a profound difference between these two theories of creationism and evolution. Creationism gives us a meaning for us to be here in the garden created by God. Evolution gives us a story that we're just here by accident. And if we're here by accident, then there was no purpose. There's no reason for us to be here. It was just random mutations that drove this process. And yet, I have a wonderful story to tell you tonight. A story of how polarities become unity. And in the process, how we move from antagonistic belief stories into a unified understanding that gives us a reason and a purpose to be on this planet. In the beginning, the planet Earth was comprised of inorganic chemistry, the non-living chemistry associated with rocks, crystals, and minerals. And as it was spinning in space, the sun was sending a beam of photons that hit the surface of the Earth. And at that interface where the photons hit the inorganic chemistry, there's a reaction that alters the chemistry and creates an energized chemistry, energized by the photons of light from the sun. This is the source of the organic chemistry. In fact, the beam of light from the sun is an etching beam that etches the surface of the inorganic earth. To understand what happens at that interface where the beam of light hits the surface of the earth, computer scientists have revealed what happens when we etch what are called computer chips out of blocks of silicon where a beam etches the surface of the silicon and cuts the chip into the material. What is actually happening where the beam actually causes the etch at the surface? And what they found was when the beam hits the surface, it generates spontaneously a fractal geometry, a field of mathematics that relates structure and space. Relevance is profoundly important and that is this as Native Americans have told us in their origin story, which is now very scientifically founded, Father Sky and Mother Earth interacted. In this process, as we describe, Father Sky's photons of light hit Mother Earth's physical structure, and at that interface where they come together was the generation of the organic chemistry, and the organic chemistry as physical particles didn't immediately complement the field. It took time for the particles to assemble and coordinate themselves to coherently come together and match the field's mathematics. The relevance is profoundly important that how we got here is a two-step process. The first step was to create a fractal field and organic molecules, but the second step was the time for the physical molecules to physically come together and then become a physical complement to the field. That was the evolution part. That was time-based. So human origin is not creationism versus evolution. Human origins is creationism and evolution. The former distinct polarities will now be able to come together and create unity. And this is the foundation of the evolution on this planet, to leave behind a world of polarities and enter into a world of unity and harmony.